It's time for another Elijah Craig barrel proof release from Heaven Hills, the B520, and it's got a new look label too. Is it better than A120 and C919? Let's find out today on the Mash and Drum. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof was first released in March 2013. Now, because it's barrel proof, the proofs do vary from batch to batch, and to identify each batch in 2017, Heaven Hill started adding batch information to each bottle. The first letter of the batch number indicates which of that year's releases the bottle was a part of, starting with A, while the second digit is number that determines the month of the year the bottle is released. The third and fourth digits indicate the year. So this right here is the B520, which is the second release, which is why it's the B batch. This is also the May release, hence the five and the 20 for the year. This year's second release is bottled at 127.2 proof. It's 12 years old, it's non-chill filtered and has an MSRP of 65 bucks. So as you saw in the close-ups, there is a new look label on this one when you compare it to the old one. Um, I don't know, I think I like the old one a little bit better. There's a good contrast with the lighter label but you know i'm kind of a sucker for keeping a classic so let's get a pour of this one so i will taste through this one like i normally do i will say that as this has opened up it's been getting better and better plus we will compare it to the a120 and the c919 which were two of my favorite recent releases to see how they stack up and help you search out the one you want so let's go to the nose first man this is just all brown sugar and caramel um very typical of a good elijah craig brow proof you get that good oak presence for the 12 years old. There's a really beautiful chocolate cherry note that's coming out of this one too that I did not pick up on when it first opened up, but as some air it's gotten into it, I mean, the oak, the little bit of chocolate, the cherry, the deep rich caramels, the oak presence, it's got a beautiful nose. Tons of rich vanilla on this one. So this one is below 130 proof. The last two releases were 130 plus, so, I kind of like when Elijah Craig Brow Proof is in that 120 range because I feel like when it gets over 130, the alcohol could really be strong and pungent, even though I do like it, especially when it opens up and you add a few drops of water to it. But there's something about the ones that kind of land in that 120 proof range that just allow you to get all the flavors and the sweetness without all that punch of, of alcohol. And this one is definitely happening on this one so far. Man, baking spices, there's like a there's like a cinnamon graham cracker flavor going on in here too. I always say cinnamon uh, teddy grams. I don't know if anyone has teddy grams before, it reminds me of like a cinnamon teddy gram. Man, black pepper. Kind of a maple syrupy type note there too. But this is all just rich vanilla, deep rich caramel. The chocolate cherry note is really what's winning me over. So um, let's go for a sip on this one, see what we get. Here we go, cheers. God, that is so candy sweet. It's just beautifully balanced too. There's such good sweetness. There's such good oak, oak presence. That cherry chocolate note is definitely going to the pal a little bit too. It's extremely syrupy. That non-chill filtration, barrel proof. Man, bar Elijah Craig barrel proof, you know, just every release. I mean, you could like some more than the other, but they're generally all just so good. Let's go for another sip of this one. Yeah, as you keep sipping it, the, the, um, the, the sweet flavors just jump to the forefront. The vanilla, the caramels, the rich oak spice, the way it coats the palate, that cherry note that kind of lingers that hits you right in mid-palate there. Oh, and then the, then the proof point at the very end. You do feel that proof on the end. There is a nice long finish to it, as you would expect from an Elijah Craig Brow Proof. Mm. So what's nice is that this one is only 127 proof. That's still a high proof, but when you compare it to the A, uh, A120 and then the C919, we're both 136 and change. I mean, what's nice is that the proof being a little bit lower allows those really sweet flavors to... Uh, to not get overpowered by the proof points. And this one 
is where I think it just plays really wonderfully with the flavors and the balance and the oak. You get to really taste everything with not getting too punched in the face by all the alcohol. Let's go for another sip. Wow, there's a uh, there's like a blackberry note coming out now. And the more you sip on this one, well, that's all I'm tasting now is, is like a rich blackberry note. Man, where did that come from? <laughs> that's amazing. It's really nice. It's, I mean, again, the caramel, the vanilla, this is like a really rich, very, very, very rich creme brulee with just some, some like a rat, like a rich raspberry sauce, like kind of drizzled on top, kind of crushed through that hard caramel shell. You get that vanilla custard, that rich vanilla, a little bit of powdered sugar on top. Definitely a little bit of chocolate on there too. This is damn good. Go for one last sip and then we're gonna compare. Yeah, it's weird on that sip, you got a little bit more of that Heaven Hill, that that uh, that peanut note that you usually get, like that honey roasted peanut characteristic. But again, the fruit flavors, the dark richness, the caramel, the finish definitely gives you a little bit more of the age. Now on the finish, that's where you taste that 12 year old bourbon. You get a little bit of the oak tannins, maybe a little bit of a, uh, of a tobacco or a leather type note on the back end. Long finish, spicy. This is a really, really good batch so far. Let's compare it to the A120 and the C919 to see how they compare. All right guys, so as you can see here, I have the C919, the A120, and the B520 all set up, ready to go. I took a little sip of water because, you know, it's a Logitech bowel proof. I don't wanna, these, are, these two are 136 proof and change, and then this one comes in at 127 and change, so. Uh, let's do a quick comparison, see how they stack up here. So the C919, as great as it is on the nose, I mean, there's a lot of alcohol that, that definitely comes up there. And even, as you can see, this one is pretty down a ways in the bottle. Let's go for a sip. Yeah, all those sweet flavors are there. Definitely a rich cherry note in C919 as well. The vanilla, the rich caramels but it is a real kind of punch in the throat with that proof point. Again, I like a higher proof stuff. Uh, not a lot of people do. Uh, I generally like to add a couple drops of water to this to let it kind of open up, proof down a little bit. Definitely helps you sip it a little bit easier, but the astringency on this one is still very present just drinking it neat. Let's go for one more sip. Yeah, your palate gets a little bit used to it. But the C919, I still think was just an absolute killer of a release. I really love it. I do like the, again, it's got the same flavors here that the B520 has, the rich fruit flavors, the rich dark caramels. I'm not getting too much of the chocolate note. This one's a little bit more on the peanut side. Uh, let's have another sip of water here. All right, let's go to the A120 here. Wow, the B520 is just, way more sweet and candy on the nose than the A120 to me. The, uh, the A120 still has that nice punch of honey roasted peanut, very Elijah Craig, uh, typical Heaven Hill uh, flavor profile. Let's grab a sip of this one. So the A120 for me has, when you compare it to the other ones, has more of a tobacco leather peanut characteristic. It's very rich, more on the oaky side, not as super sweet. I was getting a little bit more sweetness from the C919 and also the B520. It's a little bit drying too on the palate on this one. The proof points are only by a couple tenths. This is a 136.8 on the A, uh, I'm sorry, on the C919. And the A120 is 136.6. So both very close, only two tenths off. Yeah, the A120 is that Heaven Hill profile, the the peanut, the oak, the vanilla, the caramel is just very much amplified. The proof point's high, it's a little bit more drying on this one. Um, I still think I lean towards the C919 out of the two. Let's go to the new one, the B520. Yeah, and the B520 is just dangerous. It's so sweet and so candy. And like I said before, the, the, the sweet flavors are not overpowered by the proof that you get in these two. It's just really sweet. If you love the, the sweet flavor, if you like the C919, basically the B520 is the C919 without the crazy alcohol burn. 
It's just super sweet. I think the sweet flavors are even amped up a little bit in the B520. Just an outstanding release. If I mean, I think for this one, for the B520, if you love like a really nice barrel proof bourbon with some really great sweet flavors and pretty much perfect balance with some oak flavors, the B520 is gonna be a must pick up. So price for this is about 65 bucks, but I have seen it marked up to almost $100. Uh, secondary market value puts this at about usually $100 to $150 these days. Availability for this is okay, and I've said this before, depending where you live, these Elias Craig Battle Proof batches will show up either early or late. I know some people that are just seeing C919 now, and they haven't even seen the A120 yet. Uh, luckily here where I am, uh, I'm able to get these a little bit early on, but really depending where you live, you may or may not see these batches either early or late. So for the value, obviously you guys know, I think the value is the highest it can be for a bourbon. A large crack barrel proof maintains exceptional quality. Heaven Hill is known for great value whiskey for the price. And a large crack barrel proof, I think is probably their highest value. Retail price of 65 bucks, the overall quality, being non-chill filter, being 12 years old, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is probably the highest value bourbon on the market today. And lastly, do I recommend? That's definitely yes. As we saw in the comparison with A120 and C919 being over 130 proof, B520 is a bit easier on the palate and allows some really sweet flavors to shine through instead of that in-your-face bourbon experience that Elijah Craig Barrel Proof can be sometimes. Uh, B520 is a bit more easy and less alcohol forward and instead brings a rich, full flavored, sweet, awesome experience on this release. I think for any of you guys that are Elijah Craig Battle Proof fans, you are absolutely gonna love this release. I mean, it's got a little bit of everything, all those sweet flavors without the, the big alcohol punch. Definitely grab one. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this review for the new Elijah Craig Battle Proof B520 from Heaven Hill. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit that like button. Uh, if you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know if you've had this yet, what you think of it. Have you compared it to the other ones? And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. So cheers, and I'm going to have a lot more of this. Take care, everybody. See you next time.